In this video, we're going to be discussing the hip scour test, which is a special test used to rule up nonspecific hip pathologies. Now, before I get into the demonstration here, I want to make sure you understand that this test, when positive, does not rule up one particular condition pertaining to the hip. There are many conditions, as you see right here, that are associated with a positive hip scour test. So this test is nonspecific. However, if the hip scour test is positive, it does tell you that there is some issue with the hip. Okay? It just doesn't tell you what the issue is. And so to figure out what the issue is, you're going to rely on a combination of other special tests and also a good subjective history. Let's get into the demonstration. So to perform the hip scour test, the patient's going to be positioned in supine, as you see right here, and the PT is going to begin by bringing the patient's hip into full flexion. Notice here I'm standing on the same side as the hip that I'm testing, in this case, the right side. Now, once you have the hip in full flexion, the PT is going to apply an axial load down and move the hip into a deduction and external rotation. So there's the adduction, and now I'm going to apply an axial load down and move the hip into some external rotation like you see there. Okay. Now while maintaining the axial load down, the PT is going to keep the hip in adduction, but then move into internal rotation. And the idea is, while the hip is in flexion and adduction with an axial load down, you can slowly alternate between external rotation and internal rotation. So there's internal rotation, here's external rotation, internal rotation, and so on and so forth. You can also repeat this process in a position of hip abduction as you see right here. There's external rotation, internal rotation, external rotation, internal rotation, and so on and so forth. A positive hip scour test is going to be familiar pain reproduction in the hip and also apprehension regarding the test movement or any abnormal movements that might indicate that the patient is in pain. Again, when you have a positive hip scour test, it indicates nonspecific hip pathology. So you need to investigate further in the examination to figure out what the problem is. Some hip pathologies that are associated with a positive hip scour test are listed here. Femoral acetabular impingement syndrome, or FAI, labral tears, capsulitis, osteochondral defects, acetabular defects, osteoarthritis, and avascular necrosis. Let's look at this test one more time. Patient is in supine. The PT brings the patient's hip into full flexion. And then once the hip is in adduction, the patient's going to apply an axial load down and move the hip through external rotation and internal rotation while maintaining hip adduction. And again, this process can be repeated with the axial load downward with the hip in abduction. Again, with external rotation and internal rotation. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.